Hello, Happy Explorers! It's me, Orbit the Owl, and today we're going to a pizza party. But this is not just any party. Oh no, it's a math party where we'll learn something delicious and fun. Pie charts! They look just like pizza slices. Yum yum! Round and round a circle bright. Pie charts help us see it right. Parts and pieces, big or small, they show the numbers one and all. Slice it up, just take the part. Math is fun, it's like an art. From toys to fruits, we'll take a look. Pie charts tell the story like a picture book. Pizza round, cut so neat. Slicing circles, what a treat. One for you and one for me. Sharing math is fun, you'll see. Charts and circles, piece by piece. Learning's fun and never cease. Count the slices, big and small. Happy explorers, fun for all. So, what is a pie chart? Imagine you have a whole pizza. When we cut it into slices, we can see how much each person eats. A pie chart is just a circle divided into parts, showing how things are shared. Easy, right? Look, this pizza has eight slices. If I eat two, how many are left? Yes, six slices left. That's a pie chart in action, showing parts of a whole. But pies aren't just for pizza. Imagine a basket of fruit. Let's say we have 10 fruits, four apples, three bananas, and three grapes. If we make a pie chart, almost half the circle will be apples. Then bananas and grapes share the rest. Close your eyes and picture it, a big round circle. Color almost half red for apples, yellow for bananas, and purple for grapes. Ta-da, you just made a pie chart without even using pizza. Let's try with toys. Suppose you have six toys, two cars, two dolls, and two blocks. A pie chart will show three equal parts, because each toy group is the same. That's one-third for each group. Wow, math is fair when it comes to toys. Why did the teddy bear skip dessert? Because it was already stuffed. <laughs> did you know we can even make a pie chart about our day? Think about this. We sleep about eight hours go to school for about six hours, play for four hours, and eat slash rest for six hours. That makes a whole circle of 24 hours. Now, let's go back to our yummy pizza. Pretend you're holding a big pizza in your hands. Now, let's cut it into four slices. Ready? Slice, slice, slice. Whoosh! Now, take one slice and give it to your friend. How many slices are left? Perfect! You just made your first pizza pie chart. Quiz time. If a pizza has eight slices and Orbit eats four, how much is left? A, eight slices. B, four slices. C, two slices. Yes! Four slices left. Half the pizza is gone and half is still there. If we color three out of six slices of pizza red, what fraction of the pizza is red? A, one-sixth, B, one-half, C, one-third. Correct! It's one-half. Half the pizza is red. A pie chart shows two slices for Orbit, three slices for Mia, and three slices for Sam. Who ate the most? A, Orbit, B, Mia, C, Sam. Both Mia and Sam ate the most. Three slices each. Orbit only got two. Hey, wait a minute. That's not fair. Here's today's Happy Explorers Challenge. Make your own pie chart at home. You can use pizza slices, fruit pieces, toys, or even your daily routine. Great job today, Explorers! You learned how pie charts work with pizza, fruit, toys, and even your whole day. Remember, Math is everywhere if you look closely. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep smiling.
Bye-bye!